Hello, my people, my friends. My name is Christian Blue. You can call me Blue. For those of you who don't know, I'm a Protestant Christian. I make videos about Christianity for anyone who's interested in learning about it. Um, usually my videos are pretty edited, but not this time. I'm doing kind of a, a more chill video. I got I got a video in the works, right? It's about evidence for the Jesus' resurrection. It's 15 minutes long, and it's taking me so long to edit, but I want to post a video. So here is a little kind of podcast style with a speed paint going on, and I'm going to be answering a question. That was put under one of my videos, so if you want a question answered, then put it under one of my videos. Pao Miam says, I have a question. Can you be a Christian even if your concept of God doesn't fit in any definition or any specific type of Christianity? I was raised as a Christian with the Bible, but in a very free way, encouraging me to make my own thoughts about the Bible and God. For a long time, I was atheist, but now I'm questioning if becoming a Christian, but for real this time. Thank you, Poem, for the comment and for the question, and good luck with that. It's very, it can be a very hard, difficult decision to convert, so I will be praying for you. And the question, can you be a Christian even if your view of God is non-traditional? If I had to simplify my answer to yes or no, I would say no, but there's, there's a lot to talk about here. There's a lot to talk about here, so let's talk about it here. So there's a lot of things that we don't know about God. He's very mysterious. He's very far apart. He's different than us. It's hard for us to really, to really know everything about him. We can't. Um, when learning about God, when building a relationship with him, we're all going to have very different experiences. We're going to have different nuanced views and feelings about God. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. If God wanted us all to be the same, he would have made us all the same. However, the reason why my answer is no to this question is because there are a handful of things about God that are very clearly stated in the Bible and very necessary for traditional Christianity. If you want to make your if you want to make your own unique ideas about God, then of course that's your choice. I'm not going to stop you, but you wouldn't be a Christian at that point. Even even if there's some overlap with what you believe and Christianity, you'd be something else if you if you have different views, you know. Um, you see, there's a very specific God that Christianity believes in, and that's Yahweh. He has he has defined characteristics such as all-powerful, omnipresent, loving, just, three persons in one, sinless, etc. If you believe in a God that is, say, cruel, somewhat powerful, two persons in one, and a furry, I don't know, um, that's a different God than Yahweh. And if you don't believe in Yahweh, God of the Bible, God of Christians, then you're not a Christian. Which, if if you're okay with that, then that's fine. Just don't use the title Christian. It would cause confusion. Like, the whole point of titles is so you can communicate something that would normally take a lot of words in just one word. So if someone comes up to me and they say they're a Christian, I automatically know, like, all, all these different sets of what they believe. And I ask them what their denomination is, then I can have even more specifics, more details about what exactly they believe. But if you start using the word Christian all willy-nilly, then, then the term will lose meaning, which I, I think is already happening, actually. When, when somebody says, says they're a Christian, I still have like a lot of questions to see if they're actually a Christian, which sounds terrible because obviously it's not at all up to me if someone is a Christian or not. That's between them and God. I can't decide if someone's a Christian or not, but because so many people use the word Christian when they don't actually hold, like, the traditional Christian views that are, you know, what Christianity is, um, I find myself being a little bit sus when people say they're Christian. Like, I, I'm not like, oh, you're lying, but I, you know, I still have questions to see exactly what they believe. So the term is already kind of losing some meaning, which, I mean, I guess it, it can't be helped. I can't do anything about it. But also, I just realized there's, there's, there's more to this question than just can you call yourself a Christian if you have non-traditional views of God. There's, there's two different things people could mean when they say Christian. Um, they could mean Christian as in the title, and they could mean Christian as in salvation. Are you truly part of the church, and will you go to heaven type stuff. So if I applied that that 
to the question, then it's, am I saved even if I have a non-traditional view of God? And the answer to this is, uh, it depends. Can I leave it at that? Um, even if I had like a lot of details of what exactly you believe in about God and why, um, I still wouldn't be able to say if you're saved or not because that's that's up to God. So it depends, it depends. I would say you are saved if you believe the following. One, you are a sinner and need help. Two, Jesus is that help. He's, he's, he's sinless, he died for your sins, and you, if you put your faith and your trust in him, then you are saved. If you got that down, you're good, you're a Christian. But you really got to be careful making up your own interpretations of God rather than going with the traditional one because... Because, well, we want Jesus' teachings, right? If you, are, if you are saved and you believe in Jesus and he is the help that we need, then we want his teachings. How are we going to get his traditional unchanged teachings? The answer is by going with the traditional teachings rather than our own ideas and our own interpretations. Jesus taught his disciples, his disciples taught their students, their students taught their students, their students taught their students, so on, so on, so on, so on, until today. So, if we believe that Jesus is God, and we want his teachings, then we gotta align ourselves with that tradition. We gotta align ourselves with those teachers that have been doing that for generations. When someone makes up a new a new interpretation of the Bible, of anything, not just God, then that's called heresy. And they would be called heretics. And there's plenty of like historical events where uh, like heretics arise. And the church has a whole hissy fit about it. There's so much fighting and argument over new interpretations because tradition, you know, tradition is so important. And it sounds so arbitrary, like, oh, tradition, 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 never change, never, nothing new. We hate new. But there's more to it than just like not change. It's about getting Jesus's teaching as it was, which if he's God, then that that original teaching is utterly priceless and non-negotiable. So the traditional teaching of who God is isn't really something that that you as a Christian or as somebody who's considering becoming a Christian has the liberty to change. And And if you do decide, nope, I can interpret the Bible better than the thousands of theologians before me. I took a college class, so I know what I'm talking about. God is actually like this and not the traditional teaching. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm right. Uh, there is a problem there if, if you talk like that. For one, it's a very prideful thing to do. Like, like you wouldn't do that in a science class or something. Like, no, no, teacher, I know you said that mixing these two chemicals would make a toxic gas that would kill us all, but I read pages 196 through 197 of the textbook. I'm pretty sure if I mix these two chemicals, it will actually improve our health by at least 10%. So despite your instruction, I'm going to do it my way. Like, like you see the problem there, right? It's it's good to be creative. It's good to think for yourself. But you can't just ignore and set aside the teachings of more knowledgeable and studied people, you know? Sometimes, sometimes you don't know better. In fact, quite often you don't know better. Quite often I don't know any better. Um, and I'm rambling so much. <laughs> I, this video is too long. Okay, I'm going to end it now. I I hope I answered the question. What was the question? Oh, yeah. Okay. Can you be a Christian even if you have non-traditional views of God? My final answer is probably not. That Yeah, probably not. But I don't know. It depends. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you for the comment, poem, meum. Good question. I hope my rambling provided some value. I don't know. I'm not qualified for this. I'm not a professional. Um, if you do want a professional, I recommend you talk to Pastor Brock. I'll, he has a Discord. He streams on Twitch. Super cool guy. Super chill. Fun to talk to. Very knowledgeable. He's a pastor, a Lutheran pastor. Definitely recommend. I'll have his links in the description. And if you want me to answer your question, then put it Put in the comments by all means. I love to see it. Thank you. My name is Blue.
blue, 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 the color blue. I don't know. Okay, goodbye. Have a good day. I love you guys.